Hey, so welcome back to the workshop. This is the last update of 2020. So this one should be fun. Thanks for joining me and let's get into it. Okay, so everybody's looking for their sea chest and right now we're on number, we just cut number 24. And so we're making progress, but we're a little bit behind where we want it to be. And the reason was, was because the air compressor wasn't working. But the good news is, this thing, though running a little bit late, just came in this week, came in Monday, we got this hooked up, and it'll probably kick on here in a few seconds, but uh, it's, it's a really good compressor. It uh, does everything I need it to do. I wrestled a little bit uh, between this and uh, the import brand Cobalt, but I went with Quincy because it's American made, and I just, I, I hate bringing home junk that breaks and then you have to replace it and then you have to get rid of it. So I think this thing will do me for a few more machines if I get more machines. And so pretty happy with the, with the purchase. And coincidentally, it's uh, blue, which is a nice color. And it's also just, you know, the quintessential American product. <laughs> Hey, we got to keep the puns in there. So, so yeah. Everett's got a new joke. What's the new joke for this it's week? A new joke? Well, it's not really a joke. It's more of just a fact. And then, you know, the New England Patriots, it's, you know, they're a joke. So. Wow, that's, that's got a sting for some people. Look, the Bills are winning for like the first time in my life. So, you know, we've got to oh, boy. stick it there. I have to say, though, if, if, if you like the Patriots, what are you even doing? Yeah, exactly. This machine is back to running good. Um, the only problem is it doesn't always, the Z can be off a few thousands and I'm trying to figure out why that is. So this is the, the switch up here where it homes out. And so that tells the machine where this spindle is. But it can be off like five thousands, I think. So I'm not sure what's happening with the Z and when the machine cuts down, too far it like ruins the whole palette which is what happened today so um, I'm thinking about just doing it by board instead of all five boards at once I'll just do one board at a time which will almost slow me down about maybe half hour per day but we don't even need to run it all day anyway so might be better to just play it safe so down here Everett's keeping the boxes that are finished ready to go on to the next final assembly and what we're doing is we're getting rid of all of the inventory because we don't want to have a whole bunch of parts for us to sort through. We just want to do it one box at a time because that's very easy to manage. There's nothing to put away and nothing to sort and store. So once we move there, we'll be doing a lot better. Um, and we're quite close to there now because we're not having as many problems with the machine. Um, I'm doing a collaboration on the next, the sequel to the sea chest, which is the sundial box with uh, Robert Yarger. So I sent him some ideas, just kind of picking his brain a little bit, kind of going back and forth. We haven't finalized anything yet, but uh, we've got a good idea of what we want and it's gonna be pretty cool. So I'm gonna keep you guys informed and I'll let you know when that's going to be coming out so that nobody misses it. And then I'd also really like to do another kind of geometric maze type box, sort of in the vein of the Jack in the Box puzzle. Uh, just something more modern, not as treasure hunt hide and seek as the sea chest for it, but uh, I don't know, you need variety. You can't do the same thing over and over again or else you know, you'll never improve. So this is um, one of the puzzle chests that got the, the burl fronts put in. So you can see how much different that is. So that's gonna be ready to ship out. I actually destroyed like the acrylic backs on them. So I got to wait for more acrylic to come in before I can finish that up. But uh, these are super close, but it's a little bit annoying because they're kind of in the way when I'm doing stuff, but it's gonna be looking forward to when we get those shipped out and back to the original customers. So Everett here uh, was able to do some rewiring. So now we have a box here, amazing, instead of a gang outlet, whatever that thing is called. Got an outlet there. We're using all the uh, 
all the ports and you put another outlet over there. So that works so much better. And then I do have two of these lock lines here just because I really like it on the drill press here. And then we really like to be able to take the dust away so that we're not breathing in all that dust when we're wire brushing the wench. And we also use this for spray painting um, a little bit. So the only other thing is that uh, we're at the end of the year, last day in 2020. And you never, it was a big year for the YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. We made it to like 730 subscribers or something crazy like that. So. Is it really that high? Yeah. Wow. Crazy, you know? I'm making tons of money on all the AdSense. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you never know, 2021, the goal is to make it to 1,000 subscribers. I don't know. I don't know if we can make it. I'm going to make a lot of fake accounts. So yeah. <laughs> and then click on all the ads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching all the videos, guys. Um, I appreciate it. And of course, if you have any good comments that uh, you uh, could help contribute something to the shop here, something that uh, we haven't figured out yet, uh, be sure to let us know and we'd appreciate it. But uh, you all have a good year, 2021, and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks. Goodbye.